Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 53. That is, what is white box testing? Let me answer. White box testing is a method of software testing which tests the code and internal program structure of the software application. That means, while performing white box testing, we perform testing with the help of the code that is developed by the developers for building the software application. With the help of the code of the software, we are going to perform testing. That is called as white box testing. Here, we can look into the code while performing testing. Also, we can access the code while performing the software testing. That's what is called as a white box testing. So how does a white box testing look like in the diagram? Let me show you a diagram here. You see, there's a white box here, okay? You are performing the testing on a white box. White box means you can see what is there inside the box, right? So uh, in black box, there used to be a black box that you cannot see anything inside a black box. If some box is coated with black color, you cannot see anything inside the box, right? But unlike black box, this is a white box. So everything that is placed inside a box is visible outside the box, okay? So here in this case, application code that is put inside the box is visible in case of white box. And we are testing such kind of white box. That's why he called it as white box testing, okay? By looking into the code, by accessing the code, and with the help of the code, we are going to perform testing in case of the white box testing, guys, okay? So, fine. So who will perform the white box testing in real time? Who will perform the white box testing in real time? Developers are going to perform the white box testing in real time, guys, okay? Developers who can view and access the code are going to perform the white box testing. So there are other names provided for this white box testing, okay? White box testing is also known as clear box. That means the code inside the box is visible in case of clear box means transparent kind of box. That's why the name is again, not only clear box, you can also call the white box as transparent box testing, okay? White box testing also known as clear box, transparent box, because whatever you put inside a clear box or transparent box or white box, you can see out from outside the box. That is code is visible outside the box. That is outside the software. Glass box, same again. Right, clear box, transfer, transparent box, white box, glass box, okay, visible. Last one is structural means code case, okay, structure means code case, structure means code. So structural uh, testing means we are performing white box testing. Why? By looking into the code, by accessing the code and with the help of the code. That's why we can call that white box testing as structural testing also. These are the different names for the white box testing, right? clear box testing, transparent box testing, glass box testing and structural testing. So coming to the software testing levels, there are four levels of software testing is unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. In that, the first two levels of software testing, that is unit testing and integration testing, okay, while performing the unit testing and integration testing, who will generally perform the unit testing and integration testing in real time? Developers. And developers while performing this unit testing and integration testing, they can look into the code, they can access the code, and they can perform the testing with the help of the code itself. That's why unit testing and integration testing, levels of software testing fall into the white box testing category. While other two levels fall into the, that is system testing and acceptance testing fall into the opposite of the white box testing, that is black box, okay? What is the op opposite of the white box testing? Black box testing, guys. So here in black box testing, we perform testing with the visual appearing functionality of the software application. In case of black box testing, we cannot look into the code that is uh, developed by the developers for building the application or we cannot access the code also. Okay, in case of black box. In white box, that is possible. We can look into the code, we can access the code with the help of the code only, we are performing testing. But in black box, we only see the visual appearing functionality of the software. And uh, when you use that functionalities, visual function appearing functionalities of the software, the code is going to run in the background, but you will not have the access or you cannot view the code that is written for building such kind of visual functionalities. Okay, with the help of that visual functionalities only, you are performing testing in case of black box testing, which is an opposite of the white box testing. As you already mentioned, the other two levels of software testing, that is system testing and acceptance testing will fall into the black box testing, while unit testing and integration testing, which are generally done by developers by viewing the code and accessing the code and with the help of the code will fall into the white box testing. So hope guys, you got an idea what exactly is white box testing and uh, hoping that you will be able to answer this particular question without any problem in the interviews, okay? So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.